Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to have a look at Ethereum. It just crossed $1,900, and it looks like some of the altcoins are selling off. There are also some trades I wanna update you on and look at some of the news. Lastly, we're gonna hit up some of the comments. There are a lot of comments. I haven't been able to get back to each of you individually typing out comments, there is a lot. So we're gonna have a look at a few of those at the end and address some of your concerns about the Hopium on a Hopium free channel. All right, so let's first dive into Ethereum. But before that, if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon. YouTube makes us jump through a whole lot of hoops. They are two of the things you can do to help out the channel. Of course, hitting the like button as well goes a long way. And it also tells YouTube to show you more of this content in your newsfeed. All right, so without further ado, let's have a look at Ethereum. Now I've got the one hour chart up here, and you know we love to look at macro charts for macro moves. This is a one hour chart, so it's a micro move, but throwing it onto a weekly chart, you can see our macro move is heading past more resistance levels. So we're on our way up to that $2,000 mark. Will we get there? We sure hope so, but we know now that these psychological levels may play some part in the whole trading space. So what I'm talking about here is we are seeing slightly lowered volume, but we are seeing some of the alts start to sell off. So what I'm thinking happening is the alts are selling off and people are moving their profits into Ethereum and probably Bitcoin as well. And of course, there's gonna be some moved into the stable coins and fiat currencies. So Ethereum at the moment, weekly chart looks good. Now this is looking scary overall. A move straight up like this doesn't stick around forever. Measuring from the bottom of the COVID crash to the top, which I'm sure no one bought and no one is selling at this point. If you are, let me know in the comments, that would be fantastic because you would be receiving 2000% return. If you bought that exact low on that awful day in March where it was just mayhem, $90 Ethereum, you're now sitting at 2000% return if you were to sell some right now. Well, hopefully the price has gone up a little bit further than the time you're seeing this video, but uh, basically 2000% on Ethereum. So that's where we usually measure from. Most people, like we can see from the volume, have bought at least at around this $1,000 level to twelve to $1,300 level. So there's gonna be a lot of people who have doubled their money already. There's gonna be some people who may be buying in it for the first time at these high levels because the price continues to go up. But at some point we will see a correction. And that's the unfortunate part about trading these markets which spike up so very quickly. We begin to see corrections at some point, but the trend is still up. So we can't, well, we can, but it's not ideal to trade against the trend, especially when you see markets going this crazy. Think of Tesla, all of those people who are short selling Tesla on the way up. They have been absolutely burnt and wrecked because Tesla has gone on a streak, just like Ethereum, just like Bitcoin. These things go up crazily amounts. And basically, if people are trying to short these markets, then that can lead to an even further massive increase to the upside, like we saw with GameStop. So if you're unfamiliar with that, that's the whole Wall Street bets versus GameStop versus the hedge funds saga that was going on. The stock was heavily shorted, so we could look at it in terms of Ethereum. Say people are trying to heavily short Ethereum because they think there's going to be a top at some point. When shorts begin to lose money as the market goes up. So they have to cover their position, which means they have to buy back their position to close out the trade. So that then pushes more pressure onto the buy price. And so this just begins to escalate until one, all of the shorts are out of their position and two, all of the, the buying is basically done. So you could be on the long side and you continue to buy. So once all of the buys are out of the way, that's when we see a crash, that's when we see a fall or at least signs of a trend changing. And currently, like I've said many times, the trend is still up. Let's have a quick look at the daily chart. Now I've got it on some colorful candles just to give us a little bit of color to look at. Generally, if you're following the channel, you know I like to use bar charts, just keep it on the white 
bar charts because we don't really need to know whether the bar is a green or a red because it doesn't mean anything unless you're actually trading off up days and down days. Most people are just buying in and hoping. So that's what we try to teach on the channel is learning about trading. I'm going to get to that in some of the trades that we've been looking at. So with Ethereum, we saw a breakout. I'm on a daily here. Uh, basically, this is just a small resistance area. We're looking at something like some sort of small flag pole up here and then a little bit of a pennant flag. We've broken through this resistance. The volume has increased, but overall we are decreasing on the way up. Hopefully we see some big volume come in and push this past 2K, maybe 2200, something like that to give us a nice solid distance from these current highs. So basically when the market does correct at some point, maybe we come back and test these levels around 1400. I don't think we're out of the dust of 1400 unless we see a really, really strong push from Ethereum uh, to get us to 3000, 3500, something like that from this level. Then a 50, 60 or 70% correction from those levels will get us back to around that 2K level. So if we look at a measured move somewhere around that 3400, 50% brings us back down to the 1600, 60% brings us back down to these highs back here. These are all what if scenarios just in case we do see this along the way because I want to be prepared for what we could see moving forward with Ethereum. Say we get a correction at this point, market just can't hold, can't hit 2000, then moving back just 25% brings us to the all time highs again or the old all time highs at 1400. Ethereum looking at its history does tend to move down or correct more than 25%. So we could see something like a 50%, which would bring us back to the 900 or 1000. Now I know it sounds absolutely ridiculous, crazy. We'll never see another sub thousand dollar Ethereum, but we have to be realistic here and protect our profits if we need to sell out because we just can't sleep at night. Because when we look at history, Ethereum has done that multiple occasions. Yes, there is more money in Ethereum now. There is more awareness to Ethereum. Maybe there's some more institutions. Yes, there is more money in Ethereum from institutions like uh, Grayscale, the, the funds over there. There's a lot more money in it over there, but it can still drop 60% because of the market cap. It's only a 200 something billion dollar market cap. Look at Ethereum back here. Yes, it also was a smaller market cap, but $1,400, we saw Ethereum drop by about 90 odd percent. Here's the top on Ethereum to the bottom, 94-ish percent, obviously depending on which exchange you're on, but anything, it's above 90% drop, that's crazy. On the move up, this was during a bull market, we also saw Ethereum drop by about 68, 69%, so call it 70%. Maybe now we only see it drop 50%, which is still pretty crazy from a 19 or even a $2,000 Ethereum. That would bring us down to 900 to $1,000 Ethereum. So I do think we're going to see Ethereum rise more from here, especially with people taking profits on altcoins. So let's take a look at a few of those altcoins which we've covered on the channel. I'm gonna start with Reef in particular, mainly because this one is looking like a bit of a scam. So let's have a look here. The chart looks okay. I'm going to bring it down to a daily because we don't have too much data on Reef. There's the daily. One day down, volume looks good. This setup looks reasonably good. We've only corrected to the 61.8% on our, on our FIB level. We can get back to the 50% or the 38% and still be in a good position to head up again. But let's take a quick look at this Reddit post. It was put into the Investor Accelerator group. So if you do wanna be a part of that, there's a link to the group in the description down below. It's a paid 12 month membership and course to learn how to trade, learn how to trade crypto stocks, rotate your profits into other asset classes. So this is a long term strategy to learn how to invest. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, check out the link down below. Uh, there's 40% off for a limited time using the discount code down there. So check that out. This was posted into the group today. Reef, red flags, be careful. Essentially, if we go down here to the too long didn't read, I recommend reading it. Uh, Reef has recently added half a billion tokens to their circulating supply with no explanation and they're banning anyone in their telegram uh, if they're asking questions about it. So there's plenty of other red flags through here as well. I was looking up the website 
the other day uh, because I added more to my position. People were asking me about Reef, are you still in this? What's going on? Uh, yes, the chart still looks okay. This can be a rug pull and it just crashes out of here. All right, this looks like a good trade, but it can be a rug pull. This is cryptocurrency. This is the wild, wild west. There is no one regulating this at the moment. So keep that in mind as well. Basically, when I was looking at the website, it's got here the team, the CEO, co-founders, they've got their LinkedIn profiles. I couldn't find any of this stuff on their website. Maybe I wasn't looking hard enough, but that's also a red flag to me. And I don't really like that but there is so much hype for Reef. You just have to take a look in the comment sections of this video perhaps, uh, other videos of mine on the channel that I see Reef come up all the time. If you're on our six hour live stream earlier this week, there was KSI, one of the biggest YouTubers ever, dropped on to the live stream and started dropping donations, 50 pounds, 100 pounds, 200 pounds, just typing Reef. So I'm wondering whether this is just a huge big marketing ploy to pump the price. If that's the case, they're doing their marketing right, maybe. Let's see if the price pumps, but that's still a trade. you know. So keep that in mind. This can be very crazy. We can get very crazy gains, but we can also get very crazy losses out of these sorts of strange cryptocurrencies. All right, so that's Reef. I think it's still a trade. I can't keep you up to date to this second because these videos don't go out as soon as I'm filming them. So keep that in mind if you want to be up to date with learning how to trade so you can do it for yourself. I mentioned already, link in the description for the Investor Accelerator. That's Reef. Next on our list is PokerStarter. Now PokerStarter is a big one as well. I'll mention here that I have taken some profits. I still have some of my position uh, riding the rest of this if we get another push up. I just felt like we're probably getting to the end of a pretty decent run. This is very, very nice. We've come all the way from a low of around 10 cents up to seven something dollars, $7.20, $7.30, $7.50. This is crazy. So sitting somewhere around these levels of 11, 20 cents all the way up to here is huge, huge gains for a lot of people who are buying up down here. Now we weren't as lucky to get in at the 10 cents. This is my trade chart here. Around a dollar is when I started buying up uh, my position. So average price around a dollar because we got another test just a few weeks later back in late January. And basically around that 6, 650, I feel like it's probably coming to the end. The trend is still up, mind you. That's why I still hold some of my position, but I think it was a good opportunity to sell out, take the initial capital back, take a good chunk of profit so that I can spin that into something else when the markets cool off. These are the times to be selling out some of these positions. Some people may just want to buy and hold and ride this thing to the very end and then all the way back down. That's not what I do here on the channel. We wanna make some gains. This is how professionals do it and I try my best to be a professional when it comes to my own trading. I don't wanna be holding these things long-term, seeing the rides up, seeing the rides down. It doesn't matter if I don't sell the top. I've made a huge chunk of profit in the middle. I can survive another day and then I flip it into something else. That's how the traders do it. That's how the funds do it. That's how it's been done forever, except for the noobs who buy, hope and hold. So that's Poker Starter. Uh, I like it, but I think it needs some time to cool off. Next, I want to update is XRP. It's being asked about a lot. And so XRP is looking like it's setting up again. It's not one that I'm in, but you definitely want to see this high taken out here of around 65 cents. That would be the signal uh, that this thing is moving up again. Maybe it's putting in a low here, maybe not, but that would be the other signal that this won't work out is if we see a push up fails beneath the other high and then starts to work its way back down. That's a failed trade as it breaks this low here. So that's why that level of around 48 cents is very critical for XRP. Right now, still sitting in an uptrend, so the trade is still on. Let's take a look at Doge. That was a huge one. And unfortunately for many people, it has just been dumping on them. Sure, we see it up 6% today, but overall, this top was in at 232 sats and I've switched to Satoshi's rather, rather than uh, USD. Reason is, you'd know from the channel, I wanna make more Satoshi's, stack the sats when it comes to our trade. So this is Dogecoin, I always look at it on sats rather than the dollars. If I wanna increase my dollars, then obviously I could just be buying Bitcoin or Ethereum because Dogecoin sats is 
it's just been losing so much value against its Bitcoin value. Basically, from the top to where we currently are, it's lost almost 60% of its Bitcoin value. So if you put a Bitcoin in up here, the very top, you'd now have 60% less Bitcoin. That's why we look at it in terms of its sat value. All right, so right now, sitting at around 99 Satoshis, we have not seen an up day since the 7th of February. Not a good sign. We we'll probably will see some sort of up day, get some hope renewed for a lot of the holders on Dogecoin. Uh, I know it's not a popular opinion. People can hate on me. Some dislikes will go up for it. Look, it's, I'm just calling it the way I see it. I'm not going to be trading Dogecoin from this point. We might get a little push up to 120, maybe 140, 150, and then probably another slide from this point. The, the volume has just absolutely died out. But uh, look, the lows still haven't been taken out here. So we're, we might be coming into a trading range around 80s to 150s. Let's wait and see. But for now, it looks like it needs some time to rest. Two more left on the list to have a quick look at, and that's Bitcoin. We have to look at this price. We've gone past 50 grand. We're at 52,300. High was 52,600. Again, the trend is up. Yes, it is crazy how far it's gone. Similar to Ethereum where we've just gone up since the March low. The trend is still up. It's very shaky in my opinion because we've gone so far without very much of a rest. Some people will call that a rest. I don't think we've seen enough of a rest to be honest, but I can be wrong. I can always be wrong. So far, it's led me in the right direction from what I'm learning, what I'm seeing and how I'm applying it. Uh, so at this point, if I was new, I probably wouldn't be going in too hard. Obviously, I have a different position now because I was able to buy it all through the lows and that's what I teach. That's what we talk about in the Investor Accelerator is to learn how to find these areas, these accumulation zones, as opposed to buying in now when the hype is going on. You've got to stay with these markets long term. It takes years. Fill it up, fill up the tank at the bottom, ride it to the top. You wouldn't be so worried now even though you had to wait 12 months, but you're getting yourself close to a 15 or 20x return from those lows. It's very good returns, especially on Ethereum. So Bitcoin looking a bit shaky. The volume has dropped off overall, but trend is still up. So I'm not calling a top. I don't think it's wise to be calling tops on these markets, especially when the trend is up. I've said it so many times. Maybe you've heard the saying yourself, the trend is your friend. You trade the trend until it's the end. And right now, we still don't see an end. Volume has increased. This is a daily chart. Volume has increased on these bars up. What is going on? More is coming in, potentially. Maybe we're going to see that top that I talked about the other day. I'm looking at around 61,000 and then also in this vicinity of around 67,000. So that's the next targets. Obviously, we've got to get through the 60, which is going to be another psychological level. But overall, I do like the look of Bitcoin long term. All right. Going to be some healthy sort of correction. We saw it last year or in 2019, I should say. Big move up, long time sideways. So I'm preparing myself for something like this. Maybe it'll be a bit shorter than that, but something like this where we get a trading range. Bitcoin, that's my analysis, my wrap up of that, my update. Let's take a, take a look at the last one I have on the list here. And this is an absolute wild card for most. It's Zen. I've talked about it multiple times. I used to talk about this on the channel in 2019. Look, no one was into crypto back then. That's fine. Zen has been wild. I'm not saying this is a buy now. Hell no. This thing is something to be to keep on the radar because it can make these phenomenal moves. And personally, from my own research, my own experience with Zen is they are actually doing something in the space. They are creating products that can be used on the blockchain for real legitimate reasons. And we saw a nice trading range here for about two years before we've seen this explosive move to a high of around $86. These lows will blow your mind. They were around $3 for Zen, almost a what 25x return on this thing it's nuts and you can stake it put it in a master node get yourself i think now it's around seven percent return so these levels are crazy but like i've talked about with bitcoin keep an eye on the cryptos which can move a lot follow them till the bitter end when everyone thinks they're dead 2019 through to 2020 end of the year this was dead three dollars 
to $12 and back again and back again and back again and eventually it just took off. I have no idea why, I'm gonna do some research on that, but the trading accumulation range has been massive for two years. So this is the stuff you wanna find. Patience will get you there. Lastly, let's take a look at a few comments on the channel. So the people were a little screwed over by XRP on Coinbase. There was plenty of notice there, guys. You need to pay attention to what you're holding, where you're holding it, and what you need to do. So I, I get through as many of these comments as I can. I can't reply to all of them. Um, so I'm just gonna mention a few here because there are a lot of good ones too. So I appreciate the comment here from David. Dem, level-headed, take, uh, well done, sir. So I get a lot of this, I really appreciate it. Of course, I do have a little bit of the hopium in the title. You could call it a lot of hopium, but I talk about the damn titles. So we've got a comment here. You say hopium free channel, yet clickbait the shit out of the 1 million price tag. Don't chase the noobs. Guys, if you are, if you've made it this far on the channel, most of these people haven't, they see the title, write a comment, and then you know take off. They don't watch the video, no problems. The clickbaits, I don't see them as clickbait. I talk about the specific thing in that title to hopefully prevent the noobs from getting suckered into those sorts of things. There are these articles talking about a $500,000 Bitcoin, a million dollar Bitcoin. There are channels who believe we will see a $500,000 Bitcoin in this cycle. Talking about a super cycle. I think we will see a 500 or a million dollar Bitcoin, but I don't think we'll see it in this cycle. I could be completely wrong, but we're gonna follow the charts to see if we'll get there. But I don't wanna get my hopes up on that because the odds are beginning to be stacked against me to get to those price points. And the last thing you wanna do is hope for a 500,000 or a million dollar Bitcoin, it falls short and you watch the market fall all the way back down against you after you've been up two, three, five, eight X. So they are the real pieces of the puzzle that I'm trying to solve when I'm blending the search engine optimization in the titles along with the content itself. So I know many of you appreciate that. I can see it from the, the likes itself. Lots and lots of likes going on here. So if you haven't already, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel because I know a good portion of you aren't subscribed yet. Do that, bell notification icon so you can see the videos as they come out because I am talking about the trades on the channel. Check me out on Instagram. I'm answering your questions there daily, Q&A, stories. So get over there, follow and ask your questions on my Instagram. You'll see it in the stories. And lastly, Investor Accelerator course. If you want to see a little more of that, if you want to get involved, link is in the description down below. 40% off for a limited time only. We have over 100 people in the group now. So join us there. We only started less than four weeks ago now. All right, guys, appreciate your support as always. Stick around, plenty more to come for this cycle. Even if we have a massive correction, we will be putting out videos and talking about cryptocurrency and our investments. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have more fun, get more done.